Jeff the maintenance man what's going on a little bit windy yet again next day got fuses Home Depot sells them so that's good and we're gonna do what your mama told me to do your mama give him a shout out he's the one that said might want to change all yeah, I think it sounds rough too. change all these damn fuses so let's see see what we got here a little bit of light for you guys I don't know if that's even necessary but see I don't know man looks like all the phases got hot at one time and it might be they're punched through all the way up there but we might have a problem but let's do uh, let's get it fired up Then go. Where's my fuse at? Come on. Get out of there. Bruh. Uh, yeah, so we bought like a bunch of them. So helpful hint. Home Depot sells, sells these 50 amp time delay. Heavy duty. No, what's, what's weird is that this disconnect right here says 60 amps I'm wondering if somebody just put a 50 in there and then later on during the down the years they uh they just thought it was 50 but but I don't think that's the case I don't I don't know I'll do my old channel locks here It don't really matter which way they go in, I don't think. But I just hate doing this shit. So we're going to take some amps. Gosh, dog, it. come on now. All right. Let's see what we get for amps on that C phase first. If it's even calling down there, I don't even know now. And I forgot to bring my ACD. Sorry, Zach. Alright. There goes nothing. There we go. 14, 26. 18, 19. Let it run a while. 20, 20, 20, 20. I'm doing it for you, y'all mama. I'll let it run a little bit. See what we got. That's a good tip, by the way. Well, you know. Nineteen. Phase C. T 
17 on B. Or that could be A. I, um, yeah. The GoPro's trying to fall off my head here. Sorry about that. That might have been our problem, just mixed fuses. But I'm curious, like, if this is already at 19 amps. Did both stages of, uh, one second, guys. I was checking my settings. I'm curious to know if it's only in single stage cooling right now. It doesn't sound like it. I heard two compressors fire up. So. We're hovering around 19 amps on each phase. 76 degrees. 73 ish. That's about what temperature it is out here. So I have room temperature. It is. listening guys sorry it might be loud for you both fans are spinning listening sometimes that'll tell you what you need to know about a unit just listen but I don't I, I don't think we're gonna have a problem with this again I mean like I said before you know I can come up here replace them all with the same fuse and then try and see but pulling 20 amps that seems about right for a unit the size is 7.5 ton 50 T series carrier and by 50 T I mean the serial number it starts with 50 T so um, yeah, 7.5 ton because um, I looked up the uh, the whole manual for this this unit and I found it so if y'all can see that so um, See zero, zero eight. So you have to um, look up carrier's little code, and zero eight means you know seven point five ton. So one hundred ten amps on the heater model. God damn. Okay. Four loading amps. Thirty three. So if this thing's on heating and cooling at the same time, it'll probably blow them fuses. But you would think it would, you know, you would think it would, I don't know, pop the fuse, I mean, pop the breaker, you know, but I guess the breaker's more amperage than, than the dang load center here. <clears throat> I don't know. I ain't gonna go downstairs, but it's hovering right at 19. 50, 60, 50, 60, 50, 60. I'll let it run for a little bit. Just see what, what happens and all. So. I'll be back in a second, guys. Alright, we're back after about 10, 15 minutes. I even went downstairs for a little bit. Uh, to let a contractor in the side door. Come back up here, it's still 1950. But here's my question, if these are 50 amp fuses and then the heat strips kick on, if the heat ever does come on and it's doing its heat pump thing and the heat strips, that puts us over 50 amps. 
So that's got to put us over 50 amps. Let's see. Thirty-three point four, thirty-three point five, and they get checked here. So I'm assuming, assuming, that we have 110, four loading amps, thirty-three. Heat pump heating kilowatt twenty-four. Huh. That is weird. Minimum circuit amps 40, so. The fuses are actually over by a little bit, but. As you can see, it's pulling 20 amps. And it's blowing 50, so. These, these are protecting, you know, it, I guess. But you didn't never know what the next, the other guy did, you know? You never know but there you have it uh, not much rise by 0.10 amp hanging around 20 amps I wish it would do something so I could freaking figure this out you know check the temperature again oh yeah 10 degrees It's not no cheapy. <laughs> 91, 90, 75. We got something wrong with this face. All right, let me check the amps on that one. Nineteen fifty. Why is it getting hot though? My question. <sighs> 96, 95. Let me see this has got a dual laser on it, so I gotta put it in between. So the fuse did go up, but these seem to not well. Yes, yeah, okay, they're about 80. Oh shit. Hundred eight, hundred twenty, seventy-five, seventy-four. That the other ones this is weird but at 130 these are hovering around 80 but this one's 130 degrees at 33 43 shit working but not the way we like it not at all I mean all I can do right now is to let it let it go that phase is getting hotter than the other ones thank you your mama for uh, pointing that out 
but I mean for now <clears throat> we'll see we got plenty more fuses but if it blows again it's there's definitely something wrong you never know around here somebody could have probably pulled a leg off the dang thing and it's powering something else downstairs like a space heater in an office or something you, you never know so so this might be another another follow-up video but for now it's running that uh, fuse is getting hot thank you yo mama for uh, your expertise advice so I'll definitely be looking into that later but I have a plumbing issue to go take care of now um, well contractors uh, I'm gonna get a contractor to snake snake the drain because we don't have a big enough snake to go down this thing but all the all that crap and stuff is coming out of the uh, floor drains even in the kitchen so it's not a good time to eat here <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna go down my hole and I'll see you guys on the next one until then I'm Jeff the maintenance man thanks for liking commenting and subscribing y'all stay safe